Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to lower your car or lower a car using Photoshop. Now I'm going to do this with two different angles of the car just so you can see how it works and yeah it's really really easy so let's get into it straight away. We'll see you in Photoshop. All right so here we are in Photoshop. Here's my two images. I've got this one here and this one here. The reason I'm doing two is just to show you, you can do it from different angles of the car and things like that. And this one has some things in the background that might be an issue like this pot plant but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So First step is you need to choose a tool that you like to use for cutting things out. So what's good for this kind of method is the polygonal lasso tool, or you can use the pen tool, but this one is perfectly fine. It's probably the easiest one to use for this method. So what we're gonna do is just zoom in and scroll over. And what we wanna do is create our cut basically somewhere from around here that goes to the bottom of the bumper just there. And then we're going to trace this all the way around. The cut doesn't have, actually have to be perfect because you got all this black space around that kind of hides it, which you'll see a bit later. So we're just going to cut all the way around the wheel arch, try and get as close to the body of the car as possible rather than down here or something like that. So stick to the body of the car, just like that. We're just going to go all the way around this wheel arch following the body of the car and around the side skirt here. This is uh, photos of my car were actually before I got the M Sport body kit, front bumper and rear bumper put on. So my car looks a little bit different now, but I don't have any, I've got some photos, but these angles kind of worked better to, to show you this. So yeah, keep on going, keep on going. So this is, yeah, this is one of the methods I know to lower a car in Photoshop. It's probably one of the easiest. And this is a good way of just seeing what your car would look like lowered or just to do it just for fun. So this car here has this like black kind of trim hanging down. So I'm just going to go to about there. And then, yeah, keep going all the way across the front bar just like this. And we can go just up to around there or something. That's probably all right. Then I'll zoom back out. Go all the way off to the edge and then let's go to the very top there, all the way across here, back to here. So we've essentially just selected the whole top of the car without the wheels. So now what we're going to do right click and just do layer via copy. And now what we have is the car, the top of the car on its own layer. So just put that back to where it was. Now what we can do is slowly nudge the layer down to till we're happy with what we've got so we can go pretty low if we want to i reckon we'll just go something sensible kind of like there maybe there and as you can see the pot plant looks a little bit weird but it's actually not that bad so if i take the layer off you can see the pot plant shrunk a bit but no one would really know what the size of the pot plant was so that's okay but what we're going to do now is clean this up a little bit more so you can do this either with a layer mask but i'm going to use an eraser for this because if you're a beginner it's just easier to use an eraser but if you're fam familiar with um layer masks then definitely use those so we're going to get the, an eraser make it reasonably big in size and we're going to make sure it's set to the hardness is set to zero so just click up here go zero percent and what we want to do is wipe away the line my cuts here weren't too good as you can see but just for a sample i did it pretty quickly just to show you how it works but what we're going to do now is rub out that line that would have been across here so you can see the line kind of where that pot plant drops so we're going to erase that and this will bring back the original pot over this area so that's all good and we just blend it in a little bit so it looks half legit there we go and same with on this side and just look for anything else where there might be anything weird going on where you made your cut so here with the pot plant once again just blend that in blend these plants in here oops i went over the bar a little bit there but for the sake of tutorial i'm not going to fix it and then we can bring this actually you know i'll leave that the way it was because no one would probably know that this bar was meant to be there or not but uh yeah that's it so the car's lowered so if we turn off and on our layer there you go you can see the difference in the car's height it looks pretty cool and sometimes the angles might not line up like the when you drop the car it might look like it's on a weird angle this kind of worked out okay because the rear of this car is a bit high um, a bit lower than the front but what i'll show you just in case you do want to do that let's just select that layer Control t and then you can tilt that layer down a little bit, but then you're gonna to have to fix up those lines again, but you can tilt that down, you can tilt that up. So yeah, it's a really cool way of lowering the car. Now we're gonna do, that one is pretty good for the tutorial. Let's do this angle, which is just straight back shot of the car. Again, same thing, polygonal lasso tool. 
Uh, this one I'm going to come probably across... Um, you just got to keep in mind when the car's lowered, you don't want the tire going down with the car. So I might actually have to go above the tire here. And I'm going to zoom in. Same thing, we're just going to follow the uh, shape of the rear bar here, just roughly. The pencil's probably the best for this because you can do really nice curves and stuff, but it's not really required. It works pretty decently like this. We'll just go straight across here. Make sure the exhaust, you want everything that would be lowered on a car in real life to go down with it. So the exhaust would lower as well. Obviously the tires wouldn't get any lower or the wheels, but the body of the car and things attached to it would like the exhaust. So I don't know what that is. We'll just stick to the body of the car here. The fuel tank's there. I could probably just leave, like cut the fuel tank out, but uh, I'll leave it in for this. So just go all the way across. I'm doing this very quickly just for the sake of the tutorial. If this was for something I was doing professionally, I would actually take a bit more time. You can see I've cut the suspension arm off a bit, but if you lower the car anyway, you probably wouldn't end up seeing those in real life because the car would actually become, from this angle, the car would be lower than the suspension arm, if that makes sense. But anyway, same deal, just up the rear bar here. So you can see the damage on my bar and stuff, but this was the old bumper bars on uh, my car. I'll put up a photo of what the car looks like now with the new bars on it, and uh, yeah. Anyway, we've got this far, so we're gonna go across again like this, and same thing, we're gonna take the top off, or cut the top out like that. So now we have the body of the car and the whole top of the image selected. Same thing, right click, layer via copy, select the move tool. I'm just using my keyboard to nudge the layer down. Depends how low you wanna go here, let's go crazy like that. <laughs> That's insane. And um, same deal, get our eraser. Clean up, we can see that line there where these two poles or whatever they are don't line up, so I'm gonna get rid of them with the eraser. Get a smaller one here, just go straight across. See how that blends nicely now? And this might be a bit of an issue because of these bars will never line up, so I'll just see if I can kind of do something like this with it. See, this is kind of one that requires a little bit more work to make look 100% legitimate, but it looks okay so far. We'll just keep doing that. So everything basically is being moved, uh, moved down and I'll fix that up. That looks pretty good. Is that a bit of the car there? Just undo that and just maybe, maybe leave it like that because from far no one's gonna notice. And like I said, if this was professional, I'd spend a lot more time fixing it up. This one looks okay because you can't really see anything at all, but I'll just do it anyway. Clean it up a bit. There we go. And that is it. Look how low it is. Looks sick. So this is before, this was the after. So you can see these things don't line up and stuff, but obviously, like I said, I'd fix them up properly if this was something I could really spend a lot of time on. But for the sake of this tutorial, it's fine. Also, if people weren't there and didn't see the before, they'd probably just think the sign was had the wood like that anyway, to be honest with you. But yeah, I think that looks pretty good. And yeah, I think that's about it. Um, the busier the background, the harder this is gonna be, but it's pretty easy. That's it, it only takes pretty much a few minutes and there you go, you can see what your car looks like lowered or just do it for fun, but yeah, that looks crazy. <laughs> All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. As you can see, it's really, really easy to do. It helps if your background isn't too busy because um, if it is, you're gonna have issues when you lower the top of the cut part of the image and then you're trying to blend it, it might be a little bit harder. So yeah, it will definitely be easier if your background's a lot cleaner without too much going on. But yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you.